I'm making this video tonight to talk about relationships. Um, I think that when you're in a relationship, it's between you and the other person. Not your mom, not your dad, not your sister, not your sister's best friend, not her mom, not her dad, not her best friends or anything, you know. It's between two people and they should all stay out of it, you know. You come home, you're having a good day, you walk in and then she walks up and she's like, where have you been? And you're like, I just came home from work or whatever. And she's like, you were out screwing on me and cheating on me. And you're like, no, I'm not. And she's like, uh-huh. And I'm like, where'd you get that from? Well, so-and-so said, that really pisses me off. I wish people would keep their fucking mouth shut and stay out of two people's business, okay? If two people love each other and want to be together, it's what they want. It's not what blah blah Joe there or Samantha over here wants. I think nowadays the problem is that everybody takes opinions from everybody, well what should I do? And then you get people come up, well I think you should do this, or I don't think it's good enough, I think it's unhealthy or whatever. And then it plants a seed in them, and then they start fighting left and right. Now, people have problems. I believe, no matter how screwed up you are, and what stupid textbook says that you're not compatible for each other, that two people can work it out if they truly want to work it out. I mean, I just hate it how when you come home and they're like, well, I searched on here and it says we're not compatible. And you're like, not compatible. Then what the hell you been with me for like two or three years for? I mean, it really pisses me off. Or, you know, I mean, when people do that, you know, I mean, it pisses me off more than unicorns piss me off. You know, the mule corns will come piss all over you, man. Or that do time, it messes you up. God. But, you know, relationships, man, between A and B. Not C, D, E, F, G, or anything like that. It just really boils my blood. You know, that everybody sticks their nose and they start wagging their tails. Well, let's screw them up. Let's do that. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I'm here for you. And then they go back, well, you know what he said. She's screwing around. He's screwing around. He said, she said, blah, blah, blah. And what does it do? It causes the two couples to fight, and then they <laughs> split up. And then it's all like, he was a cheating bastard. She was a hoe. Mama was a hoe. She was weak in you know what, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's stupid. It's pointless. You know, it pisses me off. Because that's usually how every relationship ends, unless you're just mature and smart that the other person is going to call the other person how it's that he said, she said, and we all play the victim. It was his fault. It was her fault. You know, it gets really, really annoying. You know, whose fault is it really? Was it his? Was it hers? Maybe. But if people would stay out of other people's business and not call, try to cause drama like Facebook, posting pictures up, making subliminal messages, doing this, and let the two people left alone, then maybe they would have a chance. I don't know what else. I'll end it with that because it won't make no sense. <laughs> You're good to go. <laughs> and by the way, for the record, while I'm on the subject, I would just like to say that the Philadelphia Eagles suck. Go Dallas. Super Bowl champions, man.